Hello everyone who likes to put things off for extended periods and then remember that you have to do them and then you build an airship. I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, the Ninja Airship Collab, where I'm collaborating with my buddy Ninja to build an airship. So, it's been a while since the last uh, episode of this. Um, I don't blame you if you forgot this was happening. I almost forgot this was happening. Thankfully I remembered. And we had a to-do list from last time. So, to recap what's happened, I built base a basic functioning airship with a bunch of cram cannons on it. And then I passed it off to Ninja, who made it look super pretty. I basically have not touched any of the aesthetics he's really done. And now what we've got here is something that's been made, I don't know, just upgraded all around. I filled in the bits that needed filling and just... Anyway, so... Loading in uh, the version of the airship that Ninja sent me. Uh, there's a lot of good things about it. There's also a lot of things about it which are frankly kind of questionable. So, uh, looking here, uh, there's a huge... Let's go here. The APS turrets weren't bad, uh, but they were pure seawiz and I didn't care for that one bit. Oh goodness, please don't make everyone sick. Um... Never a fan of SeaWiz that is only SeaWiz, unless that's really only the thing it's good at. Um, the missiles were a little bit meh, and went, Ninja went absolutely ham on the surge protectors, like to a degree that is like uh, a little bit overboard, and um, that's basically it. It was just like little things here and there that needed a little bit of tweaking, and... Um, yeah, so the to-do list was basically to fix those and do a bunch of other things as well. And so, uh, let's go over what I've done here. Please don't collide with each other, I'll be very sad if you do. Alright, so first thing I did, I removed the APS turret. So, where once there was an APS turret, there is now a lambs node. Just one solitary one, which isn't super good design, by the way. But I couldn't figure out a better place to put it. And to be completely honest, I've just remembered that I should have put more lambs nodes here and there and everywhere. Oops. And where there's another one is some 360 detection, because this thing actually didn't have that. Or at the very least, it had it in a kind of bubble down here, which is now gone. We'll get to that. Uh, I've also smoothed out the hull a little bit. Um, or at least that's what my notes said. Oh, right, over here. So there's this weird um, thing here. Um, I didn't like that, and I needed to change it anyway, so I just kind of smoothed out the hull over here. Uh, no biggie. Uh, I also removed the excess surge protectors, so particularly around the turrets, uh, there was a lot of surge protectors in these kind of gaps here. They are now gone, um, because you don't actually want to overdo them. You, it's best to be clever with surge protectors rather than just spam them. Because uh, if you put them in the wrong place, they can actually make big EMP surges even worse. So, there is that. And what else have we done here? I have fixed the PID to respond to waves and terrain. Uh, because uh, version 2, and version 1 I should say, can't pin this one on Ninja. Uh, to had a rotten tendency to like fall, to kind of bounce off the ground a little bit. So, that was dumb. So we fixed that. And I've added a lambs and I've added lasers, so uh, that's, well, there's where the lambs node is, you've already seen that. And we also got these two axis laser turrets here. I did experiment with putting uh, minigun lasers on them. I've yet to make a video about la minigun lasers specifically. Possibly, well, I've tried, uh, but uh, the thing is that there's not that much to say about them really, so they just look like this. It's just a whole bunch of laser combiners on a spin block. There's not really anything to say about it. Uh, it is absolutely not something you should do if you want a good laser. Uh, after I swapped out uh, the minigun lasers for these regular single combiner things, this thing's performance actually goes... is just so much better because the laser pumps can actually keep up with the demand uh, of the combiner. And it's just so much better. And also, the laser turrets and the lambs are connected to the same laser system, which generally I am not a fan of doing. Uh, but in this case, I thought, like, hell, why not? Give it a try. See what happens. And it's, uh... It's, like, it's not crazy. Uh, lambs, Tetris is probably also, like, um... Some of the better lambs Tetris I've done. It's just, like, really simple. It is a essentially 3 to 1 ratio of storage to regular cavities. And three pumps will... Eight pumps, really, is what you do. Continuous laser. 
Nothing fancy, it just, nothing fancy, just big. And then just a whole bunch of extra storage just on the end. And it results in a pretty decent laser, all things considered. And um, an interesting quirk of doing that is that if the laser turret on one side gets uh, destroyed, uh, or if the lamp's node gets destroyed, all that really, it effectively makes um, whatever's still alive way more powerful because there's less drain on it. So I can kind of see the point of doing that. Gmodism is very fond of doing that. And like, I'm still kind of iffy on it. I would say generally um, you would want to keep lambs and like offensive laser stuff separate. But, you know, I'm opening up to the idea of having them be part of the same system. Uh, I have also added more fuels and engines uh, because we need it, because surprise, surprise, uh, having a big ass laser system takes a lot of power. So I forget where I've put them. So I put, uh, I think I've extended this. Oh yeah, I put some more. Uh, this is something I call the Radiator Riley because it's like, it's just a, a exhaustless kind of engine just with carburetors on it. It's not great. It's just super compact and easy to slap down anywhere. Uh, these blue things are actually battery chargers, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, did I mention that I added... I did add a... Um... Yeah, alright, I should have mentioned this earlier. There's a plasma gun on the underside. I'm not super happy with this, uh, but um, it's not an armored turret either, which is always something that scares me. Uh, the underside is perhaps not the best place for that, because it like has trouble like shooting at like anything. Uh, but it's just, uh, it's just, you know, it's a nice, um, fallback option, so to speak. So it's got a stabilizer on it, the rate of fire is just 60, so it's just good at shooting at things, um, that the thing is, like, flying with. And honestly, really what I should do, or what, I don't know, we should do, like, we can go back and forth with this, and this is pretty easy to change, is just circle at a distance, and just, uh, altitude relative to target, just match it. And that would mean that all the weapons get an equal chance to, like, shoot at the thing. And that would just make a lot of sense. Because uh, you don't want to be... If you want... The whole point of, like, having a bouncy airship like this, you don't want to be too much above or too much below the target. Because that means the bounce doesn't do enough to evade fire. So we should probably do that. That just occurred to me right now. That's embarrassing. Uh, I've also removed the, like, uh, the uh, on-construct ammo controller. And in case anyone's forgotten about that... Uh, that is this thing. These kind of, uh, like, ammo controllers you actually place, like, on the craft itself. Uh, that's basically obsolete now, now that you essentially have virtual ones, which you can, um, like, put onto the uh, APS itself. I don't think we... We do have one APS. We're going to get to that. So, I was combat testing this thing against the Eerie, and here is a little Diff C Wiz, which, again, I really need to make a video about. I'm not sure why I keep putting it off. Uh, probably because I don't feel qual enough, qualified enough to talk about in detail, but anyway. Uh, this is just a single uh, direct input fed gun that fires an absolute monster of a flak shell, or munition defense shell rather, uh, to deal with like really big uh, projectiles or cram volleys. So that, I feel, is very helpful. It really just gets the occasional shot off. Uh, and it really only just needs one, because once this thing starts moving and bouncing, it's pretty hard to hit with cram cannons, so... Yeah, it's just there basically for insurance. Uh, as for... I was about to say speaking of insurance, but it's not really insurance. Um, I have added laser-guided missile torpedo hybrids, because I'm very fond of them. I tried medium ones, but what we have here now are these uh, large ones. I think they're pretty good. They're not... Honestly, we really should uh, have more of these. We can. We actually have room to expand the battery a little bit. Uh, the question is uh, whether we have enough ammunition for it is the problem. I already had to add more ammunition in the bow and the stern in order to uh, have enough ammo to keep these things firing. These are a real bugger to fire properly, by the way. Uh, so I believe over... Where is it? It's here... So this is the problem, is that sometimes they get stuck, like, in there. When they get stuck, that's bad. Yep. Oh, wait, no, I only fired one of them. Okay, no, we're good. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, thank goodness. So yeah, bit of a risk to fire those out of the belly, but honestly, that seemed to be... 
Why would you do that? That's so rude. Me? Uh, and another thing I've done is like, I've basically gotten rid of the incendiary crabs because I'm not, I just don't think incendiary crabs are worth it at this size. These crabs are not especially big. In fact, they're pretty small actually. They just have long skinny necks. Um, and yeah, incendiary crabs on this scale are just not worth it. So instead, they are just APHE, good old reliable APHE, and they have quite a long reload time, 26.61, uh, which means that they have about, oh, almost 22,000 health per shell, and they do a crap ton of damage uh, if they hit things. So that is convenient. Where's version 2? Version 2, you go away for a second. I always like combat testing this thing against, um, I think the stronghold is always a good thing to test against. So we're just gonna do that. This thing can bully the stronghold, thankfully. It's very nice. It's very nice. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Did I even... I did not mention the fact that I have glued uh, missile interceptors to the underside of this thing. I didn't even paint them because I kind of forgot. So, yeah, I'm a forgetful lad. And that's a big, beautiful laser. And also, you know, it's a really good idea. That. So we And there goes that. Nice big laser doing big laser things. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this airship uh, at the moment. It's not... Uh, well, there's that diff flat going off. Jeez, when that thing fires, it's uh, something amazing to behold. And there we have a nice big ass cram volley making a nice big mess right there. So I don't think this is the best craft I've ever made. It's probably not the best craft Ninja's ever made either because that's the price you pay for collaboration. And so the plan is I'm now going to, the moment I've uh, finished recording this or rather I guess when I've uh, like uploaded this and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to pass this back to Ninja and Ninja can do whatever the hell he wants for finishing touches. Um, I seem, I think I was talking out loud recommending things to both myself and to him, and I've already forgotten what they are, so I think it matching, oh yeah, it's the altitude matching, so it's like here, uh, messing around to see if this thing works better uh, when it like tries to match the altitude of whatever it's fighting, that would probably work better. Also missile deco now I think about it, because I forgot to do that. But we'll leave it up to Ninja, and then we'll have one final round of this. This has actually been pretty fun. The trick has just been, like, figuring out what to do with it. And also, getting our schedules to align. Collaboration is hard, as it turns out. Whee! This is beautiful, actually. This thing, like, um... Basically hasn't been touched yet. And the crams take a very long time to release, though. But that's okay, because it's a huge-ass volley of crams. And they make a beautiful mess. Also, I love the silhouette of this thing. Just look at that. It's very unique. Not that things can be very unique or more or less unique or whatever, but uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, I have tested this thing against other designs. Um, what, what did I test this against? I tested this against... I think a... a um, yeah, a twin guard plane. What the hell was it? It was uh, not the, not that. It was the. Yeah, I absolutely do not remember. I think it's yeah, the audacious. Um, our uh, this airship did not win unfortunately because like the crabs were pretty much useless against a fast plane. But you know, it's it's what you do. I love just flanking the stronghold. It feels so good. It feels so good to sneak up behind it. And just, you know, put shells into its backside. Feels so good. I want to watch this play out because it's very cathartic for me. And now I don't know whether people want to see that or not. I, oh, oh yeah, that's another thing I did. I adjusted the minimum approach angle uh, from like 60 to about... What the hell did we... What the hell got blown up here? Can't even tell. Oh, over there, there's stuff that got blown up. But anyway, so um, I adjusted the angle so the thing is a little bit more aggressive in how close it gets to the enemy. Uh, because it kind of needs that. 
if it gets too far away, um, then it does that thing which fast craft tend to do, and the crams just get horribly inaccurate because um, the speed of the craft essentially cancels out the speed of the crams, which is a problem. It is indeed a problem. Come on, big cram volley. We know we like to see it. I also colored the cram turrets a little bit. We There we go. That's what we like to see. How are you doing? Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do at all. I do love these little interceptor turrets, like... Just as a little... Oh yeah, I completely forgot about the plasma gun. It's just doing plasma gun things. These little missile interceptor turrets, I just am so fond of because you can just duct tape them anywhere. And it's just really good. And yeah, that whole laser guided thing is just so convenient. Whee! I also experimented with these large uh, missile torpedo hybrids of like uh, making them like penetrator frag. They are not big enough for that, unfortunately. It's a bit of a bummer. Whee! Cram's missing. Cram's missing. It's really nice. And that laser... How much laser damage have we done? We've done... Well, ironically, the laser is one of the more destructive things uh, on this <laughs> on this airship. Just because it's a nice big laser system in there and it's really beautiful. Also, the lambs is successfully managing to shoot down all those shells. So this thing has taken almost no damage. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Whee! Come on, one more big volley. We've almost killed the stronghold. Like, I don't know, we are kind of hard countering the stronghold a little bit, but, you know... I don't friggin' care, it feels good. Feels good to outsmart something. Unfortunately, crams and large missiles are somewhat easier to outsmart than a lot of other weapons. Whee! Whee! Smack. And smack. And then all those rear crams all fire at once. Makes a beautiful mess. Look at that. Man. Part of me is kind of sad that, like, crap. Look at all these surge protectors. My goodness. Jeez. This is what I was just saying. This is what I was just telling Ninja off for. Who made this? Melchiorada, I'm not going to criticize you because I'm assuming you know what you're doing. Okay. Actually, I will criticize you a little bit. That's a lot of surge protectors. But then again, this is a very big ship. It's a big ship doing big ship things. That was beautiful. Man, cram airships are such fun. This is kind of what prompted this collab. I have not made cram airships in like a long time or so it feels like. So this was a beautiful excuse to make one. I'm just talking, I'm just going to keep talking until the stronghold dies or despawns or whatever. Because it's going to do that eventually. What a friggin' gorgeous airship. Nice one, Ninja. I take no credit for the aesthetics. No credit whatsoever. Whee! Splat. Let's hang out on the airship a little bit. How you doing, girl? Doing pretty good, actually. Whee! Nice. Look at this. Screenshot! Am I overly proud of this thing? I think I might be. What did that even do? Lots of stuff. Come on, bounce and knock some turrets off, girl. You know you want to. Whee! This video is officially about three times longer than it needs to be. But I don't care. I have a fun airship. We're playing with it. You don't have to always be building in front of the depth. Sometimes you're allowed to play with what you've built. It's like Lego. Also, the stronghold's almost actually... What? Oh, wait. I thought it was running out of materials for some reason. That was weird. It was really weird. Whee! How much laser damage? Okay, we've done almost 3 million laser damage. That's pretty cool. And almost four... Yeah, we're about to tick over into 400,000 plasma damage. Where is the... Oh, there's the plasma bolt. 
Didn't even see it. Yay! Block confetti! So fun, so cool! Wow, you actually got hit. My goodness. And somehow, like, you got to admire just how resilient the lamb system is on the stronghold. Unless you hit it with, a, like, a properly big EMP jolt. It's still firing. It's still doing the thing. How are we doing for materials? We're doing kind of alright. Whee! Man, I like this airship. What else can we talk about with this airship? Not a hell of a lot, really. You're seeing it. You're seeing what it's doing right now. It's being a bouncy, bouncy airship. Incidentally, if you're wondering what counters a bouncy airship, uh, railguns. Railguns tend to counter this thing pretty hard. Look at all that block confetti. I guess there is something to be said for just, like... The main thing with crams is that if you have more than one firing piece, you're probably fine, and it doesn't matter if they're on the same turret or not, but each individual gun needs to be of a magnitude, which is useful. If it ain't, then you got a problem. We're starting to get into the guts of this thing, and I greatly approve of that. Yay! And big volley, yes please and thank you. You're finally starting to miss this thing a bit, and that's because you've blown big holes in it. Man, the Stronghold is very fun to shoot at. I love actually testing against the Stronghold. Because it's a pretty damn good test of, like, um... Your active defenses, how well you deal with big silly cram volleys and large missiles, and in particular, huge torpedoes. There we go, she's despawning. If you have an anti-torpedo system that can, uh... Deal with the torpedo volley from a Stronghold, uh, I would say that's a pretty good uh, anti-torpedo system. Pretty darn good indeed. So yeah, that's our ninja airship. She's currently capable of, like, beating a stronghold with nary a scratch. And that's always a pretty decent benchmark, I would say. Uh, she does horribly against anything that can actually hit her because, well... Just a reminder, she's the armor is kind of paper thin. It's just, like, layered alloy. Uh, which is uh, not the smartest thing to do. It doesn't even have a double, like, air gap layer uh, in here, uh, because, like, well, it means that AP Heat will absolutely tear this thing to pieces. Uh, not to give anybody any ideas. But yeah, that's our ninja airship. It's almost like the Naruto airship, because, like, the color scheme is, like, that's what it reminds me of. Oh yeah, I think, yeah, we also put some extra detection here for the lasers, I believe those are. So anyway, I am going to pass this thing uh, back to Ninja now, and Ninja can do Ninja things to it, and it's going to be really good. So, thank you, Ninja, for being patient. It's taken me a little while to get around to making this video, because I kept, like, tinkering with this thing and doing things to it. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon. Or YouTube membership, if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Like a Patreon-exclusive Discord. One dollar a month is all it takes to get you in. That's me Discord server. And please do check out my other channels. I cover other games uh, over on Border Triple R, and I have art streams uh, that go up afterwards on Border Art. So do go check that out. I know how to draw pictures. So... And I will see you... Next time, in From the Depths, farewell.